Hey guys, Schizo Saint. Just want to make a very quick review of the One Tigress chest rig. Uh, if you are in the market for a new chest rig or you don't have a chest rig and need one, this might be one that I would recommend looking at. This chest rig is only 60 bucks on Amazon, and when it comes to gear, especially gear that you might have to rely your life on, that is pretty tricky, right? It gets pretty tricky when you start buying gear that cheap, right? Like, aren't you worth a better chest rig? Aren't you worth better gear? So if the gear is cheap, it better work and work well. So we'll talk about if this chest rig fulfills that requirement. First, let's go over the specs. This chest rig is made out of 500D Kodora. Um, now, it says American-made Kodora on the uh, Amazon webpage. I highly doubt that. This is almost certainly 100% made in the beautiful People's Republic of China. Um, it has four spots in the back for AR-15 magazines. Now, allegedly you can fit 5.56 AK mags back, back here. Honestly, I wouldn't count on it. Um, if you have steel mags, apparently you can fit two uh, per pouch. I only have one steel mag, the rest of mine are P mags, so I can't speak to that. Um, depending on what you're doing, um, you might want to only carry four, you might want to carry eight, but we'll get to that in a second. It's got two pouches. This one on the right originally had a divider in here, okay? Now, I think the idea was that with that divider is that you could fit two pistol mags. However, even Glock mags don't fit in the divider. So luckily it's attached with Velcro. I ripped it out and threw it away immediately. Right now it's home to a flashlight. Obviously if you had a big multi-tool or something or a Glock mag, you could now fit that in there. Although I wouldn't recommend carrying pistol mags in a chest rig. On the left side here, you've got another pouch. This one had bungee that already attached to it. It had a flap, I got rid of the flap. I think this was basically designed to be a radio pouch. Um, I am not super deep into the radio thing yet, so all I've got is just a really basic setup Baofeng here. It should be said that you can pretty easily reach the PTT button on the right side, so as far as I can tell, it works fine, but again, I don't have a super advanced radio setup yet, so I don't wanna speak too much to that. In the center, you do have a very small general purpose pouch. On the front here, you do obviously a Velcro. It says one Tigress on it, so make sure to get a patch to cover that up as quick as possible so no one knows you're poor. Uh, yeah, very, very basic general purpose pouch. As you can see, I've just got some chapstick, I've got a pocket knife, I've got some matches in there. There's two little divider pockets in the front here and the big pocket has a mesh pocket in the back. So um, it's not huge, but you could probably fit a compass in there. When I'm hiking with this chest rig, I carry my wallet, phone, and keys in there. Obviously, if the SHTF happens, I probably won't need those three items, but you know, just something to keep in mind. So yeah, this is a pretty simple, this is a pretty simple chest rig. Keep in mind the back here, you can rip this part off and there's just a big thing of Velcro. So you could attach this to a plate carrier. You can also get a medical dangler from, from One Tigress for an additional, I think 20 or 30 bucks. Um, if you get this chest rig and you continue to like it, I would probably recommend that if it's made from the same materials. Keep in mind, these zippers are actually YKK zippers, which is kind of interesting for a chest rig so affordable. By default, it comes with an X harness. I haven't had any issues with the X harness. I actually find it quite comfortable. It sits high enough on my chest, all that jazz. However, you can get an aftermarket H harness. That's gonna be an additional 20 bucks. So if you get that plus the medical dangler, this now becomes a $100 chest rig. Is it worth it? I'll leave that up to you to decide after you use the chest rig. Personally, I think I might go for it. So there's a few questions with a chest rig that is so affordable. One is, does it work? The answer so far is yes. Now I have not had this thing for months and months and months. I've had this for a few months. I've hiked through some pretty dense woods with this. I've gone prone on lava rocks with this. Um, this thing has worked pretty dang well so far. I've had no rips, no tears. Um, I'm not gonna say the sewing is spectacular, but so far it's holding up just fine. I will say reloading from a bungee system like this, you can get pretty fast at it. It's not gonna be anything impressive you wanna post on YouTube or Instagram but you can make it work, it is functional, it's gonna hold the mags in nice and tight. When it comes to mag carriers, you kinda of have to make a compromise between fast and secure um, sometimes, so keep that in mind. Um, it might be a little clumsy, but it is an effective way of carrying around extra mags. Another thing to keep in mind, there is a little bit of customization that comes with these Velcro pockets, but not a lot. This is a sewn chest rig, meaning this chest rig is as is. You can't take off the general purpose pouch and replace it with something else. Um, you can't replace the AR mags for 
AK mag pouches or anything like that. This is a chest rig that comes as is. The good news is, is that I'm sure 99% of you are running ARs anyway, so it's gonna work for that. So this is a chest rig that's gonna be a pretty good solution for the average American, the average working class American. This is a chest rig that's gonna work relatively well. As far as comfort, I would say my Hill People Gear chest rig is more comfortable than, the, than this. However, I've worn this for a few hours on end. Um, and I've never had an immense amount of discomfort or anything with it. This thing's been pretty dang comfortable. Again, for a $60 chest rig, that's pretty impressive. Um, gear this affordable is usually not that good. So yeah, I don't really know what else more there is to say about this chest rig. It's pretty simple. Now, keep in mind, this is not the most capable chest rig. There are chest rigs out there that will take up the entire space of your body, right? Like the load bearing vest, the web gear that you can get. Those, those chest rigs are gonna be able to accommodate a lot more sustainment, right? Like carrying a water bottle carrying medical things like that this is a very 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 simple chest rig this is going to be more in line with like the uh what's it called i think it's the haley strategic uh, micro rig something like that this is more in line with something like that than like a standard chest rig um so if you're going to be hiking for hours and hours and hours on end i don't think this is a bad option however this chest rig should almost always be paired with a backpack right? You don't ever want to go anywhere without water and food, right? So um, you should always be pairing up your gear with other gear to help increase your capability. So is this chest rig right for you? Well, we need to figure out why you need a chest rig before we can answer that question. Chest rigs are kind of like battle belts. When you first start looking into gear to help sustain your weapon and sustain yourself, you're going to get a lot of products thrown at you. I mean, if you type in battle belt into YouTube right now, you're going to get a ton of videos with well over 100,000 views telling you this is the battle belt you need. This is why you need a battle belt. Let me tell you a little story about that. When I first got a battle belt and set it up, um, I was pretty excited about it. I thought it was cool. Then I actually started using it and I hated it. I realized I can't vault over fences. I can't hike that well with it. It really restricts my mobility. I can't really wear it with a jacket. So it's a summertime use um, piece of gear for me exclusively. And summertime where I live um, lasts like three months and then we go right into fall and then right into winter. So the battle belt as a piece of gear does not make sense for me. Now, it might make sense for you, right? Like, I don't know what your setup is. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what your operating environment is. If you have got a battle belt, you've gone hiking with it, you've trained with it, and you like it, keep it, right? What's important is that you get gear that works for you, not gear that you get to seek the approval of strangers, strangers on the internet. So the chest rigs are kind of the same thing. When you start asking about a chest rig, you might not even know why you want a chest rig. A chest rig has two jobs. One is to sustain you, and one is to sustain your weapon, right? And every chest rig is gonna do different levels of each task to a varying degree. For example, the Unobtainium Gear Dank Robber chest rig, which is a chest rig I own, that is almost purely a weapons focused chest rig. You have a spot for a tourniquet and a radio, and other than that, it's all pistol mags and AR mags, right? Uh, what circumstance would I have to be in where that is the perfect chest rig for the job? Not a circumstance I will ever want to be in, right? And not a, not a circumstance I'll ever find myself in. On the other side of the spectrum, you have something like the Hill People Gear chest rigs. Now, those are actually pretty popular in the gun community, but they're not a weapon-focused chest rig. They have massive pockets designed for you to carry a radio, a snack, right? Like all sorts of different types of gear, gloves, compasses, maps, right? But there's not a whole lot in the way of weapon support. Um, I personally have the Hill People Gear Heavy Recon chest rig. I put a mag uh, pouch on the side of that. It works pretty well, but it's certainly not optimal, right? This is a chest rig that is kind of minimalist, but kind of accomplishes both tasks. You have a pouch for your radio, you have a pouch for various tools that you might need, and you have a little pouch in here to put a map, a compass, or whatever else, and you're able to carry four AR mags. Now, is that enough? This is one of the biggest debates in the prepping community right now. How many mags is enough? You can go ask combat vets from the Global War on Terror, and they will tell you there were many times when they ran out of all the ammo they were carrying and had to resort to ammo that they brought in the Humvee or in the vehicle or whatever. And so in their case, not a, they never had enough ammo. But for a lot of police, right, you ask them, sometimes they only ever need to use two or three rounds. So 
How much ammo do you need to carry? Well, as much as possible. But depending on what you're doing, if you're in a relatively low threat environment, maybe you'll be comfortable with four mags. Maybe you just need to carry enough ammo that you are able to leave a bad situation. I don't know, that's something for you to figure out. So is this the right chest rig for you? Well, let's, let's ask some questions. Are you looking for your first chest rig? Yes, I would recommend this, right? This is a great way to check that box, right? You're gonna hold the radio. You're gonna be able to hold some flashlights, some other useful tools. You're gonna be able to hold your mags. Yeah, this is a really great first chest rig. If you're looking for a chest rig for breaching doors and allegedly shooting Osama bin Laden, uh, no, this is not the chest rig for you. You need a plate carrier and way more ammo. But if you're looking for just a minimalist chest rig, maybe you wanna do what I do, hike deep into public land, do some exploring, do some training, right? Then yeah, this is a wonderful chest rig. I plan on keeping this and continue to use this chest rig. Uh, let the record show, I did get this chest rig for free. This was sent in by a viewer. You know who you are. Thank you so, so, so much. By the way, if you have gear that you want to send to me for free so I can review it, uh, be my guest. My email is in the description <laughs> if you would like to do that. 60 bucks for a chest rig. Yeah, I do, I do think this is worth it. I think this is a really good deal. Um, is it as good as a Spiritus Mark V or Mark IV or a Haley Strategic chest rig? Absolutely not. No, this is not the same build quality. This is made overseas. Um, this is probably primarily marketed towards airsofters, but whether it's marketed towards airsofters or not, I don't really care. What I care is that it works. And dang it, does this chest rig continue to run? So I'll continue to use this. It's gonna be in my rotation with my Hill People Gear chest rig. Um, this is honestly, if something weird starts going on outside my property or in my town that I live in, this might be the chest rig that I grab to go help people out. So. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good rig. I don't know what else there is to say. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you have any comments about this rig, please leave a comment. What do you think makes a good chest rig, right? This is a question I've been trying to figure out for a while. Everyone seems to give a different answer. Um, if you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe. I've got more reviews on the way. Um, I know a lot of you guys wanted me to tell that story about the Grand Canyon. That is coming up soon as well. Anyway, you guys, love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.